going to have to go somewhere in a bit, aren't we? Yo, yo. Hello, hi, this is Uncle T Boxing, and I'm here with the Cobra, the main guy himself. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, good, thanks. Oh, okay. Well, just a quick question because uh, I know Sky is looking for you right now. Um, you quite, you got a good relationship with both guys fighting tomorrow. Mm, yeah, Venue definitely. In, um, um, yeah, a lot of rounds, rounds of sparring with Tony Bellew. We've punched yes. lumps out of each other for hundreds of rounds. And yes. um, David Hay and myself, we grew up together in the amateurs. I say grew up together on the England squad. So yes. we went to a lot of different tournaments Nation, um, for yeah. England and we, we won back to back medals in the World Championships in Belfast in 2001. So wow. I've, got a good, I've got a good relationship with both guys. So yeah. it's difficult for me in terms yeah. of talking to both of them and wishing them both luck because I just want both of them to perform to their best ability yes. and may the best man win. That's the way I'm rolling this one. Okay. So um, don't ask me for a prediction. I'm not going to. <laughs> there's, there's, there's one thing, because I do listen to podcasts and stuff, and apparently you, you, you made a comment about sparring and Tony Belly, and you said something about when he wants to be evasive, he, he's just quite good at like... Yeah, he can box and move, there. and if you don't want to get hit, yeah. if he turns up to training and sparring, and yeah. he's in a mood and he's thinking, I don't want to take any shots today, because today. some of us do feel like that. So he was good at making me miss, and he was good with his feet, and his head movement, and you know, he can box, so well, that's I think that's the point I was making. Yeah, that's quite interesting, because for a super middleweight, to find that, um, find, find it difficult to catch him, a lot of the times when I sparred Tony Belly though, yeah. he was a light heavyweight and oh, okay, there wasn't yes. a massive gap in weight. Okay. When he stepped onto cruiserweight, it was yes. probably a bit too heavy for me. As much okay. as I'd still want to spar him, yes. my coach was like, look, if he hits you with a big shot, you're going to know about it. Okay. Um, so no, when, when we sparred, we, was, we wasn't too... He was probably a stone heavier than me, yes. but, you yeah. know, it was quicker, he was sharp, he could box, okay. he got a long range on his yeah. jab. And um, yeah, he's always, he's always been a good boxer, Belly. Okay. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to ask you for a prediction and... Um, I just thank you for spending your time to speak to Uncle T Boxing. Pleasure. And, um, all the best in your future with Devils. I know Appreciate you're not coming back. No, oh, I'm not coming back. I'm done. I don't, I don't know if I believe you. You don't, you don't look like a, a stoner to me. You yeah. still look like you, like you still. No, you look like maybe a half a stone. I'm quite heavy. <laughs> yeah. Quite heavy. Okay, all right then. Thanks for having your time. Take care. Take care.